many different names, guys, on this list. Everything from P.F. Chang's and Chopped and Famous Dave's to Archdiocese of New York and San Francisco, the Girl Scouts of America, David Boy's Law Firm, Serena and Lily. And Eric, this caught my eye. Big three basketball and USA basketball. What what do you think they're going to do with the funds for, you know, we're, we'll talk more about the sports in a second, but this is such an eclectic list of companies. It just tells me there's so many, everybody's affected by COVID. Well, I mean, this is why you look back in 2008 when they had all the bank money that they were giving out and they said all the banks are going to take the money. So that way no one's going to get singled out. Hmm. So now that we're singling out all these companies, a lot of them probably didn't think about that three, four or five months ago. I don't think any of us thought about that. Oh, I would get singled out. Maybe it's not worth the PR. It's a tricky one because obviously you can't give money to every single business. And if you've got a banking relationship with somebody and they just go ahead and get this going for you, right. whose fault is it? And look, these companies that can have big brand names, I'm not saying in any particular case what's right or wrong, but all these companies, they employ people. And mm -hmm. a lot of these people that are employed, they have regular salaries. And as you and I know, a lot of people that work in, let's say, pro sports, they have you know, modest incomes. And if those games don't happen, they're out of a job. They're not paying their rent. So just because these things have good brand names doesn't mean they're not worthwhile places to put these loans out. No, I, I think that's absolutely true. And Leslie, we turn to you and, and then to Robert, because there are some names you know people are going to zero in on and say, well, wait a minute, is that fair? You're looking at some of the companies with private equity backing. Mm -hmm. Robert, we see, you know, private jet companies uh, pop up and that sort of thing. Um, Leslie, what to you is the message from some of the P.E. backed names that have applied for and received help here? So, so far, we've seen quite a few names that are backed by at least venture capital, private equity growth funds. Um, we're still going through the list of 700,000 names uh, to give a, a more complete picture. But I think one thing that, you know, private equity firms would say is that, yes, we have trillions of dollars of cash on the sidelines, but that doesn't necessarily mean we can use that cash. That doesn't mean our LPs give us the liberty to use that cash to make sure that our portfolio companies uh, are able to keep staff employed um, at those respective companies. And so I think, uh, you know, they have definitely come on fire, under fire politically as, yeah. you know, utilizing this program. It was structured so that they didn't. There are definitely workarounds. There are tons of companies that pursued those workarounds. And uh, it's just interesting to see kind of how that all is shaping up.